Special thanks to Patreon supporter Ferdinand Wernicher for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gary here and welcome back to another Minecraft World War II BAPTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the HNLMS Abraham Christian. Uh, this was a John von uh, Amstel class minesweeper of the Royal Netherlands Navy RNN. Built during the 1930s, he was based in the Netherlands East Indies when Japan attacked at the end of 1941. The uh, Christian was ordered to retreat to Australia along with a couple other vessels of the same class. Uh, the Croatian was the only ship to make it back to Australia while the others were sunk by the Imperial Japanese Navy. Uh, the ship, to avoid detection and to make it back, was disguised, disguised as a tropical island by putting branches and leaves and painting the hull of the ship to represent rocks. Somehow this uh, actually worked and the ship was able to uh, slowly make its way back to Australia. Uh, on arriving in Australia in 1942, it was commissioned into the Royal Australian Navy (RAN) as HMS or HMAS uh, Abraham Christen and operated as an anti-submarine escort. Uh, although returned to RNN control in 1943, the ship remained in Australian waters for most of World War II. After the war, Abraham Christen operated on an anti-revolution patrols in the East Indies before returning to the Netherlands and being converted into a boom defense ship in 1956. Removed from service in 1960, the vessel was donated to the Netherlands Sea Cadet Corps for training purposes. In 1995, the Ab Abraham Christian was acquired by the Dutch Navy Museum for its preservation as a museum ship, and it is currently uh, still a museum ship in um, the Netherlands. So anyways, a really cool uh, ship, and for being just a very simplistic ship, has such a crazy history, and just the fact of actually being able to pull off that uh, feet of disguising a ship and slowly making its way across the Pacific theater to uh, basically return to friendly waters in Australia. Pretty crazy stuff and uh, really interesting that that actually worked and everything. Um, so overall really cool uh, ship and uh, just a you know very simplistic one maybe you know building it for the history and all that stuff for it. Uh, it's got that history aspect for sure and that well-known um, that well-known feat it accomplished during the war. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is a Patreon requested vehicle, so I want to go and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Ferdinand Wenninger for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do, feel free to check out this, uh, my Patreon page. Link is down in the description. Uh, you can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn a vehicle request of your choice. So pretty cool stuff and benefits for being a Patreon supporter. Of course, it's not necessary, but it's much appreciated. It helps me out a lot and um, everything like that. So feel free to check that out. Link is down in the description. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, HNLMS Abraham Creation and see exactly what we got going on here. So, uh, starting off with, we have the uh, bow of the ship, obviously right here. It's a very small vessel. It's just designed to be a minesweeper. Uh, it's not anything major, but we got the front up here, just some detailing, stuff like that. It was equipped with, uh, I think it was like two 20 millimeter guns, maybe four, uh, somewhere in that range, but that's pretty much the main armaments. It also had a three inch anti-aircraft or three inch gun really i mean that was its uh main gun there and that was pretty much all of its armaments so that's why it disguised itself because it could not take on any aircraft or anything like that it was very defenseless um so anyways uh you have uh the front up here this the, one of the 20 millimeter guns right up here the bridge uh windows going all the way around we have the first mast here as we continue back we have just more of the hull going back we have the smokestack some lifeboats um on both sides here the uh, rear mast. Uh, we have again a little position here. I think that these would be 20 millimeter gun positions located here. We have the three inch gun on the back, and we also have uh, these uh, little crane things here, which I imagine would be used to uh, lay mines or you know sweep mines. I don't know. <laughs> they serve some kind of purpose. I think this was also used for anti submarine capabilities, so probably drop depth charges as well or something like that. Um, overall, really interesting little ship, and uh, you know we do all these big mini builds, uh, but it's you know kind of fun to do some of the smaller ships and stuff like that. So, overall, really cool ship, and let's go ahead and pop into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, uh, layer one. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we have layer one. Just to go ahead and mention real quick that layer one here is going to be at water level. So if we go ahead and take some light blue blocks here to kind of represent the water level. Uh, you can kind of get a general idea of where we're going to be placing this line of red wool here that's going to be the draft of the ship. 
Anyways, we're gonna start off by placing down uh, a red wool block. We're gonna go ahead and go back from this, or sorry, my bad, a red sting uh, clay block. So red iron sting clay. Uh, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11, and 12 red stain clay blocks back in total. So this is a row 12 going back. We then want to place down a brick upside down stair back here, followed by a brick top slab, <clears throat> and then a brick upside down stair coming off that top slab like that toward the rear there. With that all finished there, we're going to go ahead and go out to the sides. We're going to start off by going ahead and going back to the sixth uh, brick or red stain clay block back from the bow of the ship, the bow being up here. Uh, we're going to place down a brick top slab from off the side of that block, followed by one, two, three, four, and five. Five brick ups and downstairs, a brick top slab, a end rod, and then a sandstone slab like this on the rear. We're gonna go ahead and go over to this side and do the same thing. Brick top slab, one, two, three, four, and five. Brick ups and downstairs, brick top slab, end rod, and a sandstone slab. So same thing up the same thing there on both sides. You should get something that looks like this. Again, the wire should be at this level on the side of it right here. These blocks barely sticking above the surface of the water. Anyways, once that's all complete, that's going to do it for layer number one. And with that, we can go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number two. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer two. So for layer two, we're going to start off by placing down a brick stair on this red stain clay block up in the front here, the bow of the ship. We're going to go ahead and go to both sides of this uh, stone brick stair. We're going to place down a uh, basically widow skeleton skull just like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our polished anzite blocks. We're going to place down a polished anzite block right here. Followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 birchwood planks back, followed by a stone brick up downstairs on the back here. Once that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and take our um, stone brick stairs. We're going to go to the first two birchwood planks in the front here. We're going to place down two stone brick up downstairs on both sides. After that's done, we're going to go and switch to cobblestone walls and place down two cobblestone walls as well, going back from those two stone brick ups downstairs. We also want to go ahead and go in between these cobblestone walls and we're actually going to swap those, swap those birchwood planks out for two polished anisite blocks like so. Uh, going ahead and continuing along the side here, we're going to take our polished anisite, going back from the cobblestone walls, we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine polished anisite blocks back. Same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine blocks back, just like that. Uh, once you have that done on the very back here, we're just going to place down a stone brick ups and down stair here on both sides of that rear stair. And with that complete, that is going to do it for layer number two. And with that, we can move on to layer four, or layer three, sorry. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three, we're going to start off by placing down a stone brick stair on top of this one right here. And on both sides of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a sign like this on both sides. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down an anvil coming off the stone brick stair going back. And again, a wooden sign on both sides of the anvil. Once that's done, we're going to go and place down a redstone repeater on this uh, birchwood plank here. If it's notches, flicked out to the side, followed by a stone brick slab on both ends. We then want to place down a wooden trap door on top of those two stone brick upside down stairs and come off the side of this wooden trap door. We're going to place down a sign here on both ends, just like that. When that's all done there, we're going to take our polished anisite blocks. We're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a se second row of three after that. Also in the middle here, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab, come off that polished anisite block there in the middle. Uh, continuing to work our way back, we're going to take our polished anisite, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 polished anisite blocks down the middle, followed by a stone brick top slab on the end with a sign like that coming off of it. When that's all done, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides. After this polished anisite block here, we're going to place down a stone brick up down stair, followed by 1, 2, and 3 stone brick top slabs after it. Same thing over here, stone brick up down stair, and three top slabs that go back. We then want to place down a wooden trap door on this polished anisite block on both sides. After that's done, we're going to grab ourselves an iron trap door, place down an iron trap door, come off this uh, polished anisite block, and then come off the iron trap door on the side of the ship. We're going to place down a sign like that. We then want to take our wooden trap doors, place down a row of one and two. Wooden trap doors back, same thing over here, one and two. With that done, we're going to place down a uh, cobblestone wall on top of those two polished anisite blocks. Uh, come off those cobblestone walls, we're going to place down an anvil on both sides with a wooden trap door there in the middle in between those anvils. Once that's all done there, that is going to wrap up layer uh, number three, and with that we can move on to layer four. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four, we're going to start off by placing down an end rod on top of this stone brick stair on the bow of the ship. With that done, we're going to place down a lever on top of this stone brick top slab and flick it so that the lever is facing toward the uh, front of the ship like that. 
After the stone were placed on each stone brick stair on this polished andesite block, followed by a stone brick corner stair on both sides of the stair. We want to go ahead and go to the sides and front of these uh, stairs, and we're just going to go ahead and wrap item frames around them and place down black wool blocks like this in the item frames for the windows of the bridge. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go to the side of the corner stairs over here to the sides of the ship, and we're going to place down a sign on the side there of that stair as well, like that on both sides. We then want to place down a polished andesite block in the middle, followed by a stone brick stair to both ends. Uh, we're going to place down again an item frame on both ends like this. And over that item frame on the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a sign as well on it. Same thing over here, like that. Once uh, that's all finished there, we're going to then place down a uh, redstone comparator that's going to go on top of this polished andesite block right here. We then want to go ahead and place down a placeholder block on both sides here and on top of those blocks we're going to place down a skeleton skull. Now coming down from that skeleton skull we're going to place down an end rod like so. So you get something that looks like this. We're going to go ahead and place down a gray light gray or sorry dark gray carpet or just a regular gray carpet on uh, the stone brick top steps both sides and in the middle space here we're going to place down a polished andesite block. We're going to go ahead and go back and place down a gray carpet on this polished andesite block in the middle and go into the sides where we do the same thing we did right there. So a skeleton skull like this on top of these blocks. We then wanted to delete these blocks and in its place we're going to place down an end rod. So like that on both sides. Uh, once uh, that's finished there we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some quartz slabs. We're going to place down a row of three of quartz top slabs coming off those end rods uh, like this out to the side here for the lifeboats. Same thing over here on this side as well. Uh, once that's all finished, we're going to place down a polished andesite block here, or sorry, a cobblestone wall in the middle there, followed by an end rod to both sides. We're going to go and take signs and wrap it around this narrow brick fence post like this, and same thing over here, like so. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to take our stone brick slabs. We're going to place down a row of one and two of stone brick slabs down the middle here, followed by an iron trap door on top of these two iron trap doors like this on both sides. We want to go ahead and take signs place them down on the side of this iron trap door right here and same thing over here like this and then over here since we already have we already have a sign in its block space we're gonna have to place down a item frame on the side of this iron trap door like this to kind of create these little uh, defensive gun positions and stuff like that once that's done we're going to place down another brick stair like this facing backwards we're going to place down a item frame on both sides of the narrow brick stair and in those item frames we're going to place down an anvil on both sides for the three inch gun followed by an end rod coming off the back of the stair. We then want to place down a stone brick slab on top of those two cobblestone walls right there with an end rod that goes back for these little cranes here on the back and once you have that all complete that is going to do it for layer four. And with that we're going to move on to our last final layers which are going to basically be going to consist of layers five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to put the mass and the final little touches and stuff like that on the top of the ship and uh, wrap it up. So with that, let's go and move on to our last final layers, layers 5 through 8. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving on to our last final layers, we have layers 5 through 8. For these layers to begin with, we're going to place down a iron trap door on top of this stone brick stair here, and around this iron trap door, we're going to go and take wooden signs and just wrap around the uh, sides here, and also the side toward the front. Once that's done, behind this uh, iron trap door, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, followed by one more up. On this cobblestone wall, the second one up, we're going to place down an end rod on both sides. On top of the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a stone brick stair, and we're going to go and take wooden signs and wrap it around the sides and front and back of the stone brick stair, so all the way around. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to then place down a end rod that is going to go on top of this cobble or the stone brick stair like that on top. Uh, with that done, we're going to go and place down an uh, iron trap door on top of the stone brick stair here to both sides, and then coming off the iron trap door to the side, we're going to place down a wooden sign like so. Same thing over here, like that. When that's all done there, we're going to place down a polished andesite block on top of this one right here. And then a nether brick slab on top of that. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some levers, place them down on these two uh, quartz top slabs. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that the levers are flicked in toward these skeleton skulls like that. Uh, with that all done, on the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull on those two nether brick fence posts. Coming up from the cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down one, two, and three nether brick fence posts up. Followed by a wither skeleton skull on top of that last fence post. We then want to go ahead and go to the second fence post, so the one in the middle, and place down a end rod coming off both sides of that fence post. And once you have that all complete, that is going to pretty much do it for the HNLMS Abraham Christian. A uh, really awesome uh, little ship and has a lot of history for it as well. Uh, and our first ever Minesweeper as well, so fun, fun stuff there and first ever Netherlands ship. So 
pretty cool stuff. Uh, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Again, a big special thanks to Fernia Wineshare for making this tutorial possible. Uh, if you uh, guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This is going to be a thing from a sign of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does appear on any social media sites. Uh, just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when we're doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use the forever projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 204, and I'll see you guys next time.